Welcome to Precision Weigh and Balances. Today we're going to try to give you a demonstration showing the difference between a strain gauge based scale and a force restoration balance. Of course there's always a substantial difference in cost when you're looking for performance but here we're showing a Atom Equipment HCB 123 milligram scale. The manufacturer states that the capacity is 120 grams and the readability is to 1 milligram. Next to it we have the Sartorius GD503. This balance is 100 grams by a tenth of a milligram. For this demonstration we have both balances set up in the grains mode. We have a lot of hunters or ammo reloaders that call us and they're looking for a scale for reloaded bullets. And one of the big complaints that we get is those scales that they buy from the department stores, the real, real low end line, they just, they don't, they don't weigh anything at all accurately. But when they come to us, the problem is when they go with a strain gauge, strain gauge based scale, they call us and tell us the response time is slow or the scale keeps on moving up in numbers when they're not even adding anything. And we try to explain to them that that's because of the weighing technology. You have a load cell base scale here and you have a force restoration balance that works off of magnetism. Big, big difference in performance. So for this demonstration, um, we're going to be using some table salt and adding it to the platform very slowly and we want you to look at the display as we add it. The gun and ammo guys, if they're reloading a 308 bullet, they tell us basically that they're trying to put in 43.5 grains of powder. And so their thrower will throw in about 42 grains and then they're slowly adding the rest to bring it to 43 and a half. Now, on the HCB123, this balance, again, we sell it for around $300. It offers 1,851 grains and it increments in 0 0.2 grains. On the Sartorius GD503, we sell this for $900. And on this balance, it weighs 1,545 grains and it increments in 0 0.05 grains. That's 005 grains. Um, what we're really just trying to show in this demonstration is the difference in performance where you see the weight change. So I have a standard salt shaker and what I've done is I put some scotch tape to cover up all the holes and I'm only using one hole here. So I'm going to add the salt slowly to the top of the weighing pan and I just want to sprinkle it on here so you have an idea how the salt is coming out. So you can see, I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 grains of salt at a time, not even, maybe 10 grains at a time. And so now I'm going to add it to the Atom Equipment HCB123. And if I add the salt to the scale very slowly, the display a lot of times won't even move. And the reason why it won't move is the manufacturers of all the strain gauge based scales have what we call a auto drift or auto compensation software. And the electronics see a change, but the software is written that they think it's drift due to temperature on the load cell and not um, a small weight gain to the platform. So again, if I add salt very slowly to the platform and I stop, you'll probably see the display not recorded or if it does it responds later so I'm going to add a little bit more salt and you can see for sure that the response time is very 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 slow and it's not very responsive and so and if I go slow and if I was actually to put like 10 grains of salt on at a time and stop stop add stop add the balance wouldn't even record any of it whatsoever. So now I'm going to come over to the Sartorius GD503, which is a force restoration balance. And on this balance, it will pick up everything all together and respond immediately. So as I'm adding salt to the balance, you can see. And once I stop, the numbers stop. I add some more salt. 
once the numbers, once I add some salt, it shows up immediately, but when I stop, the balance stops. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my salt shaker so it pours out a lot quicker. And um, I want to just try to show you how one balance will record the weight immediately and stop. So here I have a balance where I'm adding lots of salt. I stop and the display stops. But if I come over to the atom equipment and if I start adding salt, and again, I'm adding large quantities of salt, I stop, the numbers just go. Again, I'll add some more salt. I stop. And are the numbers stopping? I'll add some more salt. I stop. Did the display stop? A little bit more. I'm done. But is the display done responding? A little bit more. Is the display responding? We'll go back to the Sartorius. As I add salt, I stop. And the display does stop. Add more, it stops. So again, hopefully this demonstration is giving you an idea that you pay for what you get. We're not picking on the atom equipment. Um, any strain gauge based scale dealing with a milligram, you're going to see this type of response time. We just want you to be aware, so when we get that phone call, why is one milligram balance $300, which is the HCB123, versus we'll say um, A&D puts out the FX uh, 300i, which we sell for $700. Uh, the reason being is the A&D is going to be a force restoration balance, or if you're comparing it to a Sartorius uh, GD, again, it is a force restoration balance. So there's a, bit, there's a large difference in price, but that's because of the performance that you're getting. If you're doing static loads, a strain gauge will do the job for most people. But if you're doing something like uh, weight gain over time, when you're slowly adding it, these strain gauge scales really cannot do the job. And this is what we're getting for complaints from gun and ammo guys. So again, if all you have is $300 or so, the HCB123 is all you can buy. But if you're a perfectionist and you want perfection, you really need to go with a force restoration balance. We would recommend the GD503 from Sartorius or the A&D FXI series. We have the FX123, I'm sorry, we have the FX120, the FX200, and the FX300. All available at balances.com.